inspiration for the copper silver nitrate reaction, which is a unit 8 lab. In this experiment, we're going to take a look at how silver nitrate reacts with copper wire, um, and we're going to be producing silver metal. We're doing careful measurements to make sure that we can determine the mole relationships uh, between the reactants and the products. First thing you're going to do is collect all the materials you need. You're going to need some copper wire. You're going to need a vial of silver nitrate. You're going to need a clean, dry beaker. You're going to need a um, stir rod, a large test tube, some label tape, either a small uh, beaker or a graduated cylinder, marker, your distilled water, and finally a bottle of acetone. First thing you're going to need to do is label your beaker. And then you want to find the mass of this to the nearest hundredth of a gram. You want to continue this process finding uh, the measurements of the copper wire, the silver nitrate, Make sure you take the exact measurement of your silver nitrate and then also of your copper wire. And you're going to clamp a clean dry test tube to a ring stand and you're going to add approximately 20 milliliters of water. Make sure that your water is distilled water. When in doubt, refill your bottle. And then you're going to add your silver nitrate vial directly to and then make sure that you rinse off your uh, serum. Silver nitrate will stain your skin, so just make sure that you are um, careful in this. Okay? Then you're going to take your copper wire and you're going to coil it. You can do it around a pencil. I'm going to use the Sharpie in this case. And then you want to stretch it out so that it's a little bit longer than what the test tube is. It's pretty close. Stretch it just a little bit more. I also put a little hook on the end of mine. Um, that way when I insert it, it'll hang at the, uh, at the edge of the uh, beaker or the test tube and not slide in. You're going to put it in. And now you get to wait for 30 minutes.
We're going to carefully use some DI water to rinse the silver off of the copper metal and into our beaker. Do the best you can to get as much off as possible. Okay. And then you are going to need a small waste beaker to prepare the uh, copper metal to be weighed. So you're just going to take some acetone. I know it says dip. We're just going to do a quick rinse and then you can just set your copper wire aside to dry. Take the rest of your test tube and you're going to add it to what you had sprayed off of the wire. Make sure that you rinse your test tube out. You want to get as much out of there as possible. Excess water is not a big deal. Now we're going to let this settle. It takes a little bit. You have very small particles of silver. And then we're going to um, decant the solution off. And just like you had done in the uh, nail lab, we're going to prepare the silver um, for drying and weighing. For the copper, once the copper wire is dry and acetone helps it to dry a little bit quicker, we need to make sure that we take the mass of the copper after the reaction has been completed. That will tell us how much copper was used up in the reaction. Once your silver crystals have settled, we want to make sure that we have a waste beaker that we can now decant into. So just like we had done in the nail lab, we're going to decant very carefully, pouring off all of our excess water and keeping our solar crystals at the bottom. So there are our silver crystals. Now I didn't let the reaction go very long, um, so your solution is going to look slightly different and you're going to have way more silver crystals in the bottom of your uh, container. Follow the rinsing instructions using DI water, and then we're going to dry uh, the silver in the drying oven. And that is pretty much all you're going to be doing with regards to this lab.